What's up guys, welcome back to Road to Dark Matter series. On our last episode, our top comment was from Matt saying he wants us to do the machete. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Now really quick, here's our camo progress on the machete. We have Sprite done. We have Stripes done. It was actually very easy because in the last update, I don't know if they mentioned this in the patch notes or not. They made it so whatever you use your shoot button, like your normal like trigger or your click, they made it so it only swings the knife and you won't accidentally assassinate anymore. What they did for assassinations is they moved the assassinations to just your melee key. So if you were to pistol whip somebody, hit them with your gun, then it would do the assassination. But just swinging it would no longer trigger the assassination. So I went through leveling this all the way up to max level without having a single assassination because I had no idea they changed it to that. So I had to go back through and rack them all back up. As you'll see right here, because classic is done. Geometrics also done. Flora, we just need a few more, but sliding with this thing is awful. Science is done and psychedelics done. And this video would have been out a lot sooner, but this machete is just... It's not that great. I mean, it's got a decent lunge. Sometimes the, it'll like glitch out and you'll go flying with the lunge. It's all right. It's slower than the sledgehammer, I'm pretty sure. At least with the, sw the swing is slower than the sledgehammer. I'm almost positive. And it doesn't seem like you can really follow up too easy. So if there's two people next to each other, you kill one, the other one will kill you because there's too much time in between when you can swing and how long the swing actually takes to do. Like it's been said before, uh, some people have found out that if you use the Sigma, you take down two like UAVs or something and you blow up like a, a motorcycle or whatever with like the M79, it'll count for those three score streaks in a game. Well, the same thing kind of works here for our melee weapons. So I made a class that is the machete and the knife. So if I use the knife, anything I do with it will count for camos for the machete. So for some of these, I had to use the knife. I pulled it out, got a few sliding kills, a few assassinations. It just made getting this machete's camos done a lot easier. Easier. But for the rest of this, we're going to try to use the machete as much as possible. If we're struggling too much, we'll go and use the knife. All right, now that that whole speech is done, let me show you guys in game. This is it swinging. That's one. It has two different animations. The, oh, three different animations. It goes down to the left, across the middle, and then a little poke. They're all relatively slow. And then this is the knife. It can swing so much faster. Here, I'm spamming my click. That's as fast as it can go. And sliding with knives and things, you know, it's usually not that difficult. But as you saw right there, I saw him. I was I was ready to slide. You know, this is also like user error too. But it's very difficult to actually get the hit on a slide. So basically what I was saying in the beginning, whatever I do with this knife, the camos will count for my machete. And before you guys ask, I haven't tried this. So I don't know if it works for like SMGs and such. If you were to have a class with two of the same weapon class and do whatever with them, would it count for both? I don't know if one of the guns needs to already be completed for it to work. If you guys want to test that out and get back to me and let me know, uh, that'd be greatly appreciated because that could honestly speed up getting camos for a lot of people. And I've been busting my ass. I've been trying to get all these, uh, I've been trying to get all these new like DLC weapons done. We got the Pharah done pretty quickly. I'm pretty sure I would have been able to do the SMG like three times by now. But for most of the time I've used the machete, I thought finishing moves or assassinations were bugged and you couldn't do them anymore. But they switched it to be this other key. But backstabber medals are really easy now, which I'm happy for. But I wish I would have known like prior to doing this that like the assassinations changed to just be the your melee key. That was a sliding kill. There we go. Getting a few. Don't turn around, please. Sliding with this is so weird. But if I had to choose between all of the melee weapons, I, I, I'd definitely say the machete's the worst. Like, it, it looks pretty cool. Like, design-wise, I have no problem with it. Gameplay-wise, I think it definitely needs to be, like, sped up a little bit. Because the amount of time it takes, you have to put, like, your two weeks notice before you swing. Oof. You guys know if you've been watching for a while, I love using melee weapons. I mean, this one isn't the greatest one to use, but it doesn't make it not fun. The only thing that like makes me not like it is because it makes it harder to get camos when it doesn't work how, you know, I think it should work. But it's just another tool to use a tomahawk, so I'm always down for that. And I've never gotten so many people so angry with me like in games. Like teammates, enemies, like enemies will spray my body after I die or they'll spray my body after they kill me. And then like teammates will sit there and scream into voice chat like 
stop throwing smoke grenades. I can't shoot you through your smoke grenades. But it makes it all worth it. Because you know if you're pissing somebody off, you... <laughs> I mean, at least in COD, I wouldn't take this advice for anything outside of COD. But if you're pissing somebody off, you're, you're doing something good. Ooh. We're racking up these sliding kills. Wait, don't move, sir. Don't move, sir. Okay. See, that's awful. We had all that time to line up, and we still just slid right past. Ooh, let's go. We're actually racking up some sliding kills right now. Regardless of, you know, how bad some of this looks, we're doing really good. We're 24 and 27, but that should be an accomplishment. Like, there's always those moments where eventually, like, with a gun while I'm leveling it up, I'll just have, like, absolute feed where I'm getting, like, fury kills. Like, just a huge amount of kills in a certain amount of time where I'm just tomahawking my ass off or everyone's getting sliced. That, that's just the most fun part about using these weapons. It's because every other weapon in the game, even other melee weapons, outclass this thing by such a large margin. And then just to go off with it, it it's like the greatest. The only weapon I don't... Well, I guess I, it is kind of satisfying to do it with the launchers. But for the launchers, the in-between of just suffering while using them is not worth it. At least with, you know, any melee weapon. You can have fun with it, even if you're not getting feed. Like, a, a kill here or there. Like, it's still fun. Launchers are never fun. They're never a good time. Like, last night when I was trying to get, like, trying to get camos for it, you know, level it up and everything, I was just, I was switching modes constantly. I was going from, like, face-off to nuketown to trying out Apocalypse with it to playing, like, combined arms and free-for-all. But I think nuketown's probably just the best bet. Nuketown and face-off. Nuketown probably a little more because in face off you know there's three people and when you're not seeing the third person then you start you know you start to keep an eye out a little more in and nuketown in like combined arms combined arms is actually pretty decent on cartel when i was using it but like the more people around the more distracted the enemy will be and it just makes it a lot easier for you to go in there and snag a kill or two eat that see right there with the knife, the sword, the sledgehammer, that guy would have been dead. But for this, I had to wait for him to pull it all the way back and then swing it. We're two sliding kills away from getting this thing dark matter. And just because I forgot to show up before, here are my attachments for the machete. I have the thrash camo on from Stripes and this sticker on. I think it looks really good. It's a very good combination in my opinion. We just need two sliding kills and we're done with this thing. Tomahawks don't count, but this does. One more. Oh, that's it. We're getting feed. Gold feed. Let's go. It's about time. All right, for the rest of the game, I'm just going to go hard. I'm going to switch over to our season two class and we'll try to level this bad boy up. So this is going to be a little bit of a shorter video for you guys since I was just losing my sanity trying to get this thing done. We're trying to get the machete done. Uh, I'll leave in some more gameplay. I still got to get levels for this thing. I'm glad there's double weapon XP right now. Uh, if you guys don't have your weapons all the way leveled up. I would put camos on hold for now and just try to get all your weapons at least to level 50. You don't have to get them like fully maxed out to 55. If you get them to just 50, when you go through and do camos, it'll be a lot easier. Take advantage of your double XP weekends for sure. We still gotta do a little bit with the, with the machete. No, damn. It sucks because once you, you swing your machete and you know you're gonna miss, you just have to sit there and take it. Okay, fuck this trophy system. Fuck people that use trophy systems. And also, in the last episode, somebody pointed out when I was going for uh, kills behind cover that I should be closer to the window as well to help other people go for camos. And you know, I think that's a really good point. You know, if you're if you're grinding kills behind cover and somebody just keeps peeking like the window for you, like that one guy was, you should also peek it for him. They have more incentive to come back, you know, and help you rack up those camos if you're help like if you're helping them, they're helping you. So to all my camo grinders out there, be courteous. Also to unlock this machete, uh, I was playing in a face-off game. I, like a pre-game pre lobby, I just I just asked, like I was one backstab away. I said, please, somebody help me get a backstab. I was like, please, if anybody lets me get a backstab, like I'll help you with whatever camo you need. I'll go stand behind cover. I'll fucking stand still and you'll point blank me. I don't care. I just, I just want to unlock this thing because I had to play 15 whole games just to get it and you know some 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 kind soul went ahead and let me uh backstab him so i'm really appreciative of that and it's a possible new strategy all you gotta do is ask somebody be like hey i need kills behind cover anyone else need them uh I'll just post up on the windows all game you know it might just work because not you know 
There are a lot of lobbies where it's just a bunch of shitheads. They're saying every slur they know, you know, just bitching about everything. And it's always, oh, my team's so bad. But it doesn't hurt to just ask. Just be like, hey, I'm doing these camos. Anyone need help? I'll help you with these camos. That might be the new camo strat. And since we only have the SMG left to do, and so that's going to be our next video's weapon. Uh, it, it begs the question, what are we going to do now that like every weapon is done? Like right as we finished before, the, the new season came out like 20 minutes later. So what I've decided we're doing is every week, I'll just ask like, or every week, every time. So what I've decided that we'll do is after every video, I'll ask you guys leave your loadout below and I'll do it. And I asked that in the Valentine's Day video I uploaded, the kiss confirmed. So I'm pretty sure I'm using an M82. I can't remember if it's max recoil or if it's hip fire. So that's what we'll be doing after Dark Matter. So if you guys have any loadouts or anything, don't leave it on this video because I feel like that's not fair because I first brought up the concept on the Valentine's Day one. But if you, if you want to leave your loadout, go leave it on that video. I'll, you know, put a card somewhere in one of these corners to it. If you want to go leave a comment or just upvote some other ones. But basically, that's what we're going to be doing. First one's already been confirmed unless you guys go onto that video and change it. But we're going to keep the multiplayer series going. And I think after I record this video tonight, I think Sam and I are going to go play some Warzone. Uh, perhaps some some of the new zombies mode. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, if that doesn't come out, we probably maybe we didn't play it or the recording didn't go well. But either way, there's new things coming. Uh, I will be going for zombies. I, know I have people ask that on every video. Like, I'm done with Dark Matter. Am I going for zombies yet? I will. I just got off of a huge grind and I got to go into another one. So I'm, I'm taking my time. And, you know, guides will also be coming back. Uh, I haven't got a chance to work on them yet. I still want to do the, the thing where I, I take like a week and I, a week or a few days and I use that gun for that amount of time. All right, and try to do every challenge with it again. Not necessarily get it gold, but see if I can complete a challenge like getting double kills with the Sigma or, you know, shooting down aerial streaks with the RPG. You know, things like that. I've already done it before, but the game's changed so much since then. Like I did it before Nuketown even came out. Soft flex. But, you know, just to be more aware of how, you know, everything in the game is now because Fireteam, I think it's been a little different since... I've done it, and that was my my main suggestion to people doing the launchers, just going to fire team and take out like score streaks and things. So we're gonna go back through. We're gonna see like the best methods and everything. Uh, we'll be starting with the launchers. We'll take a week. We'll do the Sigma, and we'll do the RPG. And we did so terrible. All right, let's see what the machete looks like with the mastery camos on. This is gold. Diamond looks pretty good. Even the the little ropes on it turn gold. And dark matter looks decent. And per some of your requests, this is what it looks like in game with dark matter. It looks, you know, it, it's pretty good. It's a big fat blade. You know, a lot of places to cover. The handle doesn't really change at all. I think the handle should change like it does for diamond, but it looks pretty good. I mean, as good as it can look. Actually, I like that a lot. I think it looks better than the, the Wakasashi. The Wakasashi in game, not a big fan of it, of how it looks because it's just, it's pointed down. You don't see anything but the handle. But anyways, that's going to do it for me today. Uh, if you liked the video, like it. If you didn't dislike, make sure you checked if you're subbed. 70% uh, of you guys that watch these videos aren't subbed. And uh, we're really close to 69,000 subscribers. And I know I'm guilty of it too, where I'll watch a creator for a little bit and not realize that I'm not subbed because of how often it just pops up my recommended. But make sure you check and see if you're subbed. Uh, if you're not, hit that button. It'll help me out a lot. Uh, we're getting close to 69,000. We're only a, a few hundred away. So uh, that'd be a big milestone to hit the funny number. And yeah, that's all I got for today. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time.